All right, what up, friends? Welcome back. The quest for more green skin blood continues. I've got too many light armor lads in the front line. It's kind of incredible they've survived as long as they have. Okay, we've got Horik. Defensive lad. What a chad. 12 defense at level 1. Let's do the math real quick. Mini defense. 3 stars. 3 to 4. So call it 35. So that is 47. At, at level 11. That's fucking amazing. And that's going to be even without Overwhelm. I can't Overwhelm. Uh, reach Advantage. It's going to be good. Okay. Give us some green skins, please. Eh, it's more undead. Are these ruins always undead? Your pattern here. Yeah. Okay, what do we have? Another double necromancer fight. We did one recently. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So archers need to be so standing here. One, two, three. Six, seven, and they can stand here. Okay, right, good. Uh, Olaf is slightly wasted if I put him in that square. So we can go here, Sandvone. And of course, these lads will go to. Um, they'll go to Whips, as we have found to be effective. One, two, three, one, two, let's put. Um, there. Actually, the great lad needs to be where this polearm boy is. At least I can swing in these three squares. I'm putting him here, kind of pointless. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And I'm fairly certain at least my two archers on the southern side of the formation should be able to hit those two necromancers. Hopefully, it doesn't take another ten bloody uh, turns like it did in the last fight. Righto, so putting the archer here, so at least a, you know unobscured by the ruins shot here. Although that is going to be problematic. He's going to be caught in melee range. Unless I do that. Yeah, and then we rotate with the great swordsman. Put the bannerman here. Or there. There's no ghosts to worry about. So this ought to be a comparatively straightforward fight. 40% nailed it. Oh, ho, ho, yes, Wolf. Okay, this one's going to be hard. Don't hit him. That's a nice bit of luck. Zombie Necromancer, that is so metal. Don't need to taunt him because I'm only in contact with this lad. So 45. 68 defense. And Shall I repose him? I don't think so. What will I do there? Oh right.
Till's morale going is bloody annoying, lowering his melee defense. I'm gonna step up here now. That at least means that Sandvone won't be triple surrounded and I can only be in contact with you. This, you know, limits me to using split pretty much. It'll be fine. to hit yes. okay let's go to work zombie killing time <laughs> uh oh I didn't use raise morale silly Jero. 95 and roll 96. Really? Five mists. Gah. <laughs> Drop all the doggos. are scary and there's a lot of them that one's the big one that I'm concerned about miss miss fuck now up north is in big trouble how do we oh, yes. he rotates with him that's how he gets out of it Focusing on destroying armor so that my great sword guys and my tanks aren't having to deal with so much. Armor. Surprising that there wasn't a champion in, 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 in this ruin, but. 
I wonder if there's a cooldown for champions appearing. Get over there, Aldrich. Well, shit. That crushed hand, crushed finger, is especially frustrating. Given that it's going to impact his accuracy. Fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, come on. all the dogs we can we need as many more targets for them to go for uh, we can choose to attack something that isn't the brother who's in trouble and vanda needs to read morale do we start working on this one because once Olaf takes up that Vidigunga, then those two will attack that one. God damn it. Oh, shit. The dog that I can rotate with. So this does 85 to 100, 105 to 120, which is more. 50, 75, 60. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, with his morale breaking, the chance to hit him was really high. See, if I had a smoke pot, then I could have given him a free retreat. Which is not something I've actually thought of before as a utility of a smoke pot. If one of your lads is fleeing, you hit him with a smoke pot and they can just flee for free. I mean, that's pretty much doomed to Vildrich, though. Dazed my lads as well. But who knows? It could be the thing that saves us. That motherfucker hasn't missed once yet. It's the shield bypass. <laughs> boys god damn it well at least he can rotate out now okay still one more hit and he's dead though it's only this lad that can kill him
Out of ammo, huh? It's close. Get out of there, D-Town. Okay, next problem now. This is Vildred. Although Jenks can rotate. Much better on the northern flank. Rotate him out. I mean, Jamo, you've got full armor, so. This is a fight that was not supposed to have been as hard as some of the previous ones we've had. Just kind of got away from me, I think. rest well you can't do anything that's too dangerous <laughs> this lad's proven to be the issue let's get the two archers around just to kill him as quick as possible really dude are all exhausted. <laughs> Toll needs to swap out with his vine. Let's get down there. One of the dagger balls need to drop a whip. Okay, on the next turn, I can start attacking this fallen hero. <laughs> Come on. can at least try to do something. Uh, body armor. Good. Hits the body. Gets the kill. Oh, clutch.
I mean, it's not over yet, but this was far too close for comfort, eh, boys? Okay, northern flank remains secure. Now we can we can reinforce the south again. Not only that, I'm still sitting without some key weapons. A couple more Katol daggers are going to make a nice difference, I think. And once this assassin lad gets his two-handed mace, then these type of heavily armored meats are going to be much less of an issue. Though. Breaking. No. <laughs> Good kill, doggo. <laughs> Get in there, big hairy beast. Surround it. Get him. Archers, you can chill. So a net would probably be a good idea. Whew. Good fighting. Good lord, that was so much harder than I needed to be. The one greatsword lad almost freaking bit the bullet. It just shows you we are nowhere near taking on Black Monolith. Right, level 10 Daggerman. Dagger Mastery, I think Berserk. Oh, wait, does he need Berserk? Oh, wait. Whoops. Refund, refund, refund. Oh, this is the Assassin Lad. I mean, I'll still use Berserk, but. The fuck, whatever. There's the other Assassin Lad. Who needs much the same stuff. No, but he can't be an assassin if he's got shield expert. Marked for replacement. Cares. For them, quick... Uh, Quick swap of me dues. <laughs> it's yeah, comically low we can get Horrocks as a uh, fatigue. Uh, Twenty two. I mean, you can you can still walk and impale. Let's head south. There should be a temple in Kabira. Weaponsmith, alchemist, armorer. 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 Of 
god, it is bloody undead hell down here. What do we have here? Some marksmen, lots of raiders, and a hedge knight. Imminently doable, if I do say so myself. Let's get Olaf here on the outside flank, I reckon. So Jalma doesn't actually have a weapon spec yet. So then I'm going to do this. So Vildrich will use Death Blow. After Jalma uses Knock Over. So does Crumple inflict Crumble doesn't inflict a stun. You have to use Knock Over. Okay, good, fine, yep. Bit of a weird setup, but I think it'll work. 51 armor only. I shouldn't have fight that hedge knight because he could be carrying a weapon we want. And we need a new set of heavy armor here. Stoppy, as you can tell, is just going to throw nets because he really can't do much else. He's fucking hopeless. Ooh, some sort of beast. What is that? 18 hyenas. We can either get the hyena skin or the armor. Why not both? scary I'm gonna move one square forward and then take the aim shot here's a scary shot Whew. that's not a sword this is a sword should have moved forward damn it stubby you tipped Yeah, the armor's not great. We'll take it. 94%. Just outright kills him. Doesn't <laughs> doesn't even give the Katol dagger any <coughs> chance to do a thing. Right, Toll, you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hedge Knight. While the stabby lads do their stabby thing. death blow because it is going to destroy armor it'll have to be sandbone that does the killing of the head knot <laughs> fucking scary that'll do Two pierced arm muscles, two combat ineffective marksmen. Oh crikey, only 37 hit points.
That didn't wound him, really. Interesting. Oh, there, also a tank. Oh, didn't even realize he was dodging away there. Still. Yo, oh, that's an important dodge, actually. I should have moved, then attacked. So Deathblow did the extra damage against the guy in a net, trapped in a net. Body hit for 42 damage. Pretty damn good. No, oh, for dead. Problem is, these two will go before he does. Oh, oh, scary. That's why it's so important to have good defensive stat on your two handed weapon users. It's much better, Mizuma. <laughs> snick, snick. <laughs> Nice double kill, Big Airy. <coughs> Pierce chest and shoulder. Really? Are you too exhausted to throw the net? Stubby. Useless. Absolutely useless. Pierced shoulder, chest, and hand. Doesn't look good for him, does it? <laughs> Double taunted. So nothing named, but we did get a full helm, which is actually really great. What else is junk? Well, if we're going to take these hyena hides, we need to make some inventory space, don't we? So Stubby the Tank God needs to get nothing but melee defense and initiative and resolve. His fatigue is kind of not even that important. Student to keep the acceleration up. The leveling acceleration that is. 25 range defense is plenty. Do I skip duelist? I think I do. And then I just use just use axes. Because like Rolston here doesn't have steel brow, but Wolf does. And he clearly needs needs recover. And he needs berserk.
This is good. 95 and 90 on my two archers is really damn good. Wait, there should be another rondel here. Didn't I swap out a rondel? I did. But that's right now. I'm using him in conjunction with the... Well, I think, I, yeah, I do still want the option of bypassing armor completely. This is potentially quite scary, the hyenas. Swords. I think I might need some decent lads here. This is a lot of hyenas. Oh, crikey, his vine needs to sit this one out. Okay, it'll do. They're going for the flanks. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that a lot of them are rabid, which is going to apply overwhelm. Not so good. Should we think about some maneuvering here? Put the archers in between these trees and then try, try cover them. I want to move off that high disadvantage there. So then does that put Rabe? So clearly Big Harry goes up here onto this bit of high ground, which lets him cover these squares. Let's not overthink this. Ferdinand goes back. Dagger sits here. Janks the tank. Yeah, you stay there. Everybody move up. Looks like pretty much one square. Flanks look pretty secured now. So this is Vanda. Slits in here. I think that's okay. It's going to take them an awful long time to get around the side. And then there isn't a lot of vulnerability there. I like this. Okay, good. good. Direct shots. Scatter worked out. And then the two direct shots from Mizuma actually miss. Typical. prepared if these things get around me. Hold position, boys. I'll move the archers in and then Till can go there. But I mean, Sandvone shouldn't be holding a, 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 a point of the formation like that. That's no good. So actually, I need Janks to swap with Sandvone. If 
Fuck it, move forward to meet them. They all have overwhelmed. Dog v dog. No. Uh, I was gonna say I think I should avoid damaging their armor whenever possible, but. Okay, this is pretty scary. There's a lot of these things. I did that totally the wrong way, but don't think it mattered in the end. Where do we put these in con in uh, in comparison to uh, dire wolves? Actually, a bit easier. Do hurt. Good dog. Heads come off. Okay, they're all fleeing. Good. It's not just the skin of these things that we want, it's the saliva as well, which I believe we mix with sulfur to make explosives. Fire pot. Well, I mean, enough for two. Two armor attachments, so that's good. And let's swap out all these rubbish swords. Worth 140, worth 140. All these rot undead shite we can get rid of. Good job. The formation is kind of messed up. Nice. Let's head back into town. We've got a lot of stuff to sell. A lot of armor that needs to be repaired.
Excellent. Excellent. Process could be pretty good down in the south. Twenty-two. That is unbelievably high. Oh, we're gonna make a fortune. Fifteen thousand. It's a new record for us. So good. Any pull swords? Come on, lads. Please. 255 for 17. It's okay. Any manhunters? The manhunters have pretty decent numbers. Now I'm kind of going off in just a weird direction, but... Uh, Let's check in on the arena. This is all giving us time to allow our wounds to heal as well. How long to heal up and repair? We need a lot of repairing done, don't we? Okay, 18 tools. Uh, oh, damn, I can't fight in the arena with an ambition going. Okay, well, back out to the east then. And serpents, five of them. It's, 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 it's a good opportunity to get some, some snake skin. But 47 minutes, I need to take a break. Thanks for watching, friends. See you tomorrow.